Are you kidding me? They don't have it again. Hello my loves and thank you for joining. It's Kirsten and we are doing an impromptu come book shopping with me. We are going to Forbidden Planet today, me and my partner. It's going to be a good time and as much as Forbidden Planet mainly just has fantasy books and I have been fallen out of love. It is something that I haven't really looked around their fantasy book section in a while. I also would like to pick up some manga as well while we're there so let's just have a look and see what we can find. So come along with me. Oh as always I keep forgetting lately. I hope you're doing well. Let me know what you've been up to, what's the last book you've bought and um, okay now let's go. And we have arrived in Forbidden Planet and we are not my favourite part to check out which is the new US releases because obviously being in England we don't get those that often but Forbidden Planet very much does so let's go see what we can find. Come on, 12 and 13, 12 and 13. Are you kidding me? They don't have it again. Okay, we have quite a collection of books going at the minute. Unfortunately, they didn't have the Toku Ghoul 12 and 13, which I wanted, or Children of the Whales Volume 1, because I really want to try that, but they did have a few other things. Then my partner just agreed we can go to Gower Street Waterstones and have a look at their manga section. I don't think he's prepared for this, but it's a good haul so far. We have arrived at Gower Street, so we're going to be hunting for Toku Ghoul Volume 12 and 13 and Children of the Whales. Fingers crossed. And we are back home. Honestly, it's such a good day. It was so hot out, but it was lovely. And we did just enjoy it, just going around to the couple of bookshops that I showed you, as well as having lunch out and going to a few shops that my partner wanted to go to. It was just a really nice day. And I did end up getting eight books. So as you saw, we ended up at Gower Street Waterstones. So I'll start off with those books just because they're on top of the stack. I got Boy Parts by Eliza Clark and this is one that I've recently seen Leah talk about. Leah from Leah Crompton. I'll have her channel linked below. She's a recent um, booktuber that I found that I really like her videos and she was talking about this book and it intrigued me. So when I saw it on one of the table spreads within Waterstones, I decided, you know what? Let's try it, let's pick it up. So this one, I don't know too much about it, but it is about Arena, and Arena obsessively takes explicit photographs of the average looking men she persuades to model for her, scouted from the streets of Newcastle. Placed on sabbatical from her dead-end bar job, she is offered an exhibition at a fashionable London gallery, promising to revive her career in the art world and offering an escape from her rut of drugs, alcohol and extreme cinema. The news triggers a self-destructive tailspin centred around Irina's relationship with her obsessive best friend, 
and a shy young man from her local supermarket who has attracted her attention. It sounds really interesting, it sounds like the complete opposite of something I would normally go for, but that is what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to just expand my read and taste a little bit more. And it says how it's a pitch black comedy, both shocking and hilarious, fearlessly exploring the taboo regions of sexuality and gender roles. It sounds interesting, I'm excited for it. I don't know if it's the sort of thing I'm going to like, but considering I like normal people, I'm currently reading The Virgin Suicides and enjoying that, so why not give this one a try as well? And then the other book I picked up was a manga which was Children of the Whales volume one. Look how gorgeous that is. It's absolutely stunning. It's something that I've had my eye on for a little while. This was one of the ones that I wanted to get today and obviously they didn't have it in Food and Planet so I'm really pleased that they did have it in the Gower Street Waterstones. So yeah, really excited, really hoping I like it. I have no idea what this is about. I think it's more of a dystopian world. Yeah, a floating island city of day and magic drifts on the mud whale. We're just gonna try it, we're gonna try it. Uh, unfortunately, as you saw, they don't have 12 and 13 of Tokyo Ghoul, so my hunt for those two is still happening. And then Food and Planet. So I was really surprised, but I actually managed to pick up six books from Food and Planet and it came to 30 pounds. That's amazing, like it was so, so good. So I didn't expect to get this many books today, but I actually haven't spent that much. One of the books that I got was this one, which is The Secrets of Dear Cliff Grange School by Kim Newman and it was only 99 pence. I've never heard of it but I was really intrigued by that cover and um, yeah just just decided to get it for 99 pence. So it says a week after her mother found her sleeping on the ceiling Amy Thompson is delivered to her new school Dear Cliff Grange in Somerset. Although it looks like a regular boarding school, Amy learns that Dear Cliff girls are special. The daughters of criminal masterminds, outlaw scientists and master magicians. Several of the pupils also have special gifts like Amy's and when one of the girls in her dormitory is abducted by a mysterious group in Black Hoods, Amy forms a secret superpowered society called the Moth Club to rescue her friend. They soon discover that the hooded conspiracy runs through the school and it's up to the Moth Club to get to the heart of it. I've never heard this at all. Never heard of it before, but it was in the horror section and like I said, 99 pence. You can't go wrong for that. And then as usual they have their three for two on manga, so I picked up a couple of volumes. I got two and three of The Promised Neverland, which if you saw my 24 hour readathon vlog, I really enjoyed The Promised Neverland and wanted to carry on with that series, so super excited. It's actually a really long series. I was looking in Forbidden Planet. It's really long, I didn't realise, but hey, that's going to be good and honestly I love their three for twos that they do. I think it's so helpful especially because manga can be so expensive but yeah really excited with that. And then the third one I got for that deal is Moriarty the Patriot volume two. I read volume one ages ago, really liked it. This is all about Moriarty so the criminal mastermind from Sherlock Holmes but this is Moriarty's background story to how he became the criminal mastermind. I really liked the first book so I'm hoping again I will like this one and continue on. I think they're up to like volume seven or something but yeah I, I'm really happy. This is one that I've been meaning to pick up for a while. And then I have two more books. So we have If We Were Villains by M.L. Rio. This is a book on my books to read 30 before I turn 30 and this one was £3 off so I had to go for it because it meant it was only 5 99 Perfect. This one is Dark Academia and I believe it's like Shakespeare plays a massive part within this. I think it's following a group of students who are obsessed with Shakespeare. They put, I think they put on plays and stuff or whether they're just students. I, I'm not sure about that bit but I know that they're obsessed with Shakespeare and that one of the students gets murdered and it's all about that so it's kind of like Donatart's secret history but with Shakespeare and stuff so it sounds really good. Dark Academia I have a love-hate relationship so I am hoping that I will enjoy this one but I couldn't pass it up considering it is £3 off. And then the final book I got was one that I wasn't planning on getting today. Actually, the one fantasy book I wanted to get, which is Lud in the Mist, I couldn't find. In the end, I just gave up. But I did see this one. And this one I'm really intrigued with because recently, Reagan from Peru's Project, again, I'll have her channel linked below, recently read this one and really liked it. This is Mrs. Death, Mrs. Death by Salim Godden. And we're following 
death and she is telling her story to this writer apparently it's a really unusually way it's been written the way reagan talked about it, it just has me so intrigued for this book plus i do love this cover it's just so beautiful so as soon as i saw it in there i was like yep okay you're coming home with me i'm actually really pleased i expected to get the manga but I didn't expect to get the other actual novels today. Like I said, fantasy books isn't something I'm massively into, but these ones I feel like are just gonna be interesting and they're not purely fantasy, like there's something different about all of them, so yeah. Well, I hope you enjoyed this little impromptu video and yeah, like I said at the start of this, do let me know what's a book that you've recently got or if you've read any of these, what your thoughts are on them, all the usual things. I think today we're gonna put a shopping bag emoji because we did go book shopping. So if you made it this far, then the shopping bag emoji is the one to use. And if you have enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it that thumbs up, subscribe, comment to let me know that you're here. Social media links will be linked below and I will of course, Catch you in the next one.